Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a little bit more news, but also questions and answers for Cortana. Since I posted my video, a lot of you have questions that uh, you wanted to have answered. So, um, you know, Cortana has not been very popular, but some people were using Cortana. I used Cortana at the beginning of Windows 10 for the fun of it. Uh, but quickly abandoned and pretty much stopped using Cortana over time. <clears throat> now, the first questions that I get is, uh, some of you out there have the Armin Kardon Invoke, which is the uh, smart speaker that is powered by Cortana, and you are all wondering if that's going to stop working at some point. What I understand and what Microsoft is pretty much saying is not that it's going to stop working, but you won't be able to control it with Windows 10, and that is starting with version 2004. So the next version of Windows 10, you all noticed if you look at my videos, that Cortana is now a app, a separate app. It is not part of the system anymore. And of course, when that happens, that also means that the uh, Cortana invoke controls are not going to work anymore. You won't be able to do that with Windows 10. But your device is still gonna work as long as you have an iPhone or an Android phone or an iPad or an Android tablet. You can download the Cortana app on these devices. Some of you have told me, well, isn't Cortana gone from Android or iOS? Actually, it's not gone. What it, they have done is they actually separated the Cortana app from the launcher, which was a Microsoft launcher. It was kind of integrated in there uh, before now they kind of separated there's a separate Cortana app that will be what you can use to control your invoke and continue using your invoke so there's no worries there and anyways I would guess that a lot of you probably did that already and used your phone rather than Windows or your PC to control that uh, the news we have today is that Cortana might actually change name and become Microsoft 365 Assistant because it's going to move to business. It also means that, you know, it won't be really anything um, or won't have a, anything much in consumer side of things. It's going to become kind of, uh, like I said, like Clippy. If you remember the old Office Clippy, which was there to help you out, that's what they're trying to do with this assistant, but with, uh, of course, all the AI and the, a much better interaction. So that would be rebranded, apparently, Microsoft 365 Assistant. So that means the word Cortana or the brand Cortana might actually not be uh, there anymore at some point in the future. So uh, that's pretty much what's happening. Uh, and when you will move to Windows 10 version 2004, well, that is going to be, of course, something that uh, will change. You'll see that now you'll have the Cortana app that can be, um, you know, changed and will not, un there's no uninstall button, but using a third party software like CCleaner, you probably can uninstall it um, from Windows because now it will be a Microsoft Store app. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.